sponsored by Women Technology. Take advantage of our end of summer promotion, offering a $30 off bundle discount on the whole test takeout panel controls through September 2021. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. This week we're going to be looking at the Indian Air Force's weapons. Today we're starting off with the Astra Mark I air-to-air -air missile. We've got here today an Su-30 MKI Indian flanker and aboard is one times Astra Mark I missile. We're going to do a max firing range experiment. We are at an absolute optimal 61,000 feet at Mach 2.35 as as high and as fast or as optimal as we can get we're as slick as we can possibly get we've got no fuel in the jet we are going to be firing at a c5 galaxy with a whopping great radar cross section he's going to be traveling at just under 40,000 feet uh mac 0.7 something or other basically his top speed so we've got the absolute maximum firing range that we can achieve we will measure the range at when the missile leaves my aircraft to where the hostile is at that point and we'll just do a very unrealistic full closure rate at that point so basically the usual experiment with the usual parameters as far as other missiles go we've got these missiles the pl-15 the amram delta the r-37 the mark 60 phoenix the rvvl the meteor the amram 120c5 and the r-27er here is the maximum range in the same or roughly the same parameters that we achieve here's the type of missile and here's the limiting factor the thing that meant it couldn't go any faster at least in game the question is where do you think the astra mark one is going to go so there is an astra mark one in development is an astra mark two which is a long range missile and an astra mark three which i think is coming in the future as well currently only available is the astra mark one which i believe is a traditional solid rocket fueled missile only so we're talking along the lines of the r27 er aim 1 20 c5 aim 54 and i think the r37 however this is a very small missile as well along the sides of these two here so i would expect it strange to be somewhere in the region of these two here 48 nautical miles 88 nautical miles according to wikipedia we've got an absolute maximum range of 68 nautical miles for the astro mark one however as you all know take that with a massive pinch of salt let's go and fire the missile and see what we get now i've been at this for an hour or so so i already know the result but i'm going to tease you a little bit power on autopilot on EVR, radar on zoom the scope out lock the target we've currently got uh, 95 miles. Let's try firing at 95 miles. Fire. Off she goes. Now look at the incredible speed she achieves in DCS. Bear in mind, just a single solid rocket booster. We had 4,170 knots at about 60,000 feet. If anyone wants to work out the mark, I think that's going to be about mark 10 or something, I'm guessing there, which is obviously unrealistic, but that's just how they've had to... Uh, Model it. You can see it's the Mark 1, it says there. Right, so let's see if we're going to hit or we'll speed things up because she will be a while in travel. So she's just gliding via inertia at this point. At some point, we should see some calls. Note that it didn't go very high. Compare this to a, say, Phoenix that would have gone up to about 140,000 feet or thereabouts for a similar lob. Oh, just missed! It just missed. Now, I chose that range for a good point. That's the cutoff range that the missile can achieve. And at that point, the reason it stops tracking and dives under is it's actually run out of battery. It can't guide anymore. Plenty of kinematics, well over a thousand knots, but it just can't guide anymore. And therefore, as well as no guidance, it won't fuse because it didn't get close enough to the aircraft. Now, let's try that again. Let's just bring that in a couple of miles. So even if it does go run out of battery, which it will, it will still be close enough to get a hit on a non-maneuvering target. Get there go again. Power on. What if I look on? 92 miles. Let's fire at 92 miles or just slightly below. And I'm going to fire for the record books. We're achieving 91.4 nautical miles now. So off it goes. Zap. Very flat trajectory. Goes 60,000 feet. 4,170 knots. Super, super fast missile. 
Very good looking missile as well, don't you think? Looks very 80s to me. And what's it with um, India and black missiles? What have they got with black missiles? How does that help? What's wrong with grey? So we're just guiding on inertia now. Now, she's actually run out of battery at this point, valued viewers. She's not guiding anymore. So if that aeroplane turned, she wouldn't actually follow the aeroplane. But this is his ballistic path at this point. And if we're lucky, she should just get close enough to fuse. You know, we've got a radio proximity fuse in this thing. Well, radio or laser, I'm not sure. But if we get within however many feet or hundreds of feet, it is. It should still blow. Oh, ho, ho, so close. A little too far. My bad. Let's try it. Cincy wincy bit closer. 89.8. Let's say 90 nautical miles, shall we? Between friends. 90, go. Seen all this before, so let's just zoom it forward. The bit that everyone, of course, wants to see is this bit. Again, it will run out of battery, but this time we're just close enough that... Uh, We get a hit. She's okay. She's a big gal. And it's a small missile with a relatively small warhead. So she'll fly home now. In fact, I'm not even sure she's uh, bothered at all. So, uh, in fact, the under testing, it was 91 nautical miles. 91 before we ran out of battery. In the standings, third from bottom, being a relatively small, conventional, solid rocket-propelled missile, Fox 3, 91 nautical miles, just beating the... AIM 120C5. It's probably actually about the same in terms of the missile range. It's just that we could run it a bit higher and a bit faster. That SU-30 is a bit faster than the F-16 that we could launch. We were doing about Mach 2.1. This was fired at Mach 2.3. That's probably what gave it the extra range. Battery life was its limiting factor. Uh, that's it really. It's just a very similar thing to the AIM 120C5. I hope that was useful and see you later.